What's up everybody, it's Broken Bones here, and welcome to Broken's Bedrock Tutorials. Today we're going to be showing you how to build the Superior Universal Tree Farm. This farm can process oak trees, birch trees, spruce, jungle, and even acacia trees. And just like all my other Superior Farms, this farm also hooks up to the Superior Moss Farm for endless bone meal. Right here is a shulker box that was filled up with bone meal. This will come from your Superior Moss Farm, which I'll leave the link up to that in the top right hand corner right there for you guys. And this will get sent to your farm right here, and it'll get dispensed and it'll feed your wood farm here with bone meal. When the sulker box is empty, it'll get sent back to your moss farm to get reloaded with more bone meal. This right here is the expanded version of the Superior Moss Farm. This thing is an absolute beast when it comes to getting bone meal, and as you can see, if we go all the way into the side of this thing, it is producing a lot of moss. And it'll get flushed all out here, get sent down into this composter system, where it'll all get loaded into a sulker box right here. And then the sulker boxes get distributed to their farm via these water streams that we have right here, and then they will come back to your farm in this water stream right here. This will actually load it right back up into those barrels down there so it'll get reloaded back up with more bone meal. And of course, in the tutorial, I not only show you how to build the Superior Moss Farm, but I also show you how to hook up all of your other Superior Farms to this farm as well for endless bone meal. And with uh, multiple Superior Farms, you're going to need an intersection like this, which I also show you in the tutorial. As you can see right here, if you have a farm down this way, the water stream will deliver a shulker box of bone meal down that way, which is rather fine. And then that'll go ahead and turn off when the uh, shulker box gets there. But if you have a farm over this way, it'll go ahead and deliver the bone meal over this way. As you can see, now we have a shulker box getting delivered over here, and same thing in this direction. So you can have multiple different intersections for multiple different farms. And if you guys are enjoying today's video, be sure to break the like button for me, leave a comment down below, share this video with all your friends, be sure to subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you don't miss more videos like this one. I'd also like to give a big shout out to the creator of today's thumbnail, which is Digital Outsourcing BD right here on YouTube, so big shout out to you there, bud. Thumbs up. This uh, thumbnail looks very eye-catching, it's very professional and well put together, and I'm super happy with it, so thank you very much for all the help that you gave me with that. And if any of you guys want uh, cool graphic design work like this done, I'm going to leave links to his Instagram and his YouTube down in the description, and you can find him on Instagram, and excuse me if I get this wrong, at Islam. And you can find them on YouTube at Digital Outsourcing BD. So if you guys want some cool graphic design work done like this thumbnail right here, be sure to check out his links down in the description. This tree farm is simple and easy to build and simple and easy to use. As you can see right in here, we have oak mode and we have acacia mode, which is right here on these levers right here. So all you have to do is activate a lever like that and it'll go ahead and throw it right into acacia mode. And if you want to grow shorter oak trees like this, you can go ahead and throw that down. And as you can see up there, our fine machine just flew down and it'll stunt the growth of the trees making sure that no big oak trees grow and then of course you have the other three uh, tree types right here you have jungle birch and spruce and we have storage systems for all of their saplings and of course to use the farm you just come all the way right up here you flick this lever right here on the ground it pushes you up and then you go ahead and plant your tree and of course it'll do oak trees just like this it grows spruce trees too just like this it also does birch jungle and even acacia trees, which as you can see here, it's going to pulse more than just one time. It's going to go and pulse multiple times. Just there's, there's twice. And then it'll go ahead and go a third time as well. So as you can see, this farm produces a lot of wood. So I've built three different collection systems. The first collection system is called the auto chopper. And this is a two man system where one man sits right here and chops the trees while the other man plants the trees. And this design is the cheapest and easiest to build by far. However, the wood pusher only requires one person and pushes all of your logs into a nice neat pile like this, which is easy to mine out, especially with a beacon. However, the cost of this is not so cheap. It's actually rather expensive with all of these pistons, but it still does the job. And then of course we have my favorite, the wither blaster. This will automatically break all of your blocks and put them down into a storage system for you via water streams. And this thing will keep up with pretty much any farm. The wither will go ahead and continue to blast because this snowman right here is gonna be shooting out snowballs and it's gonna go ahead and make the wither mad and blow up. And that'll go ahead and blast your blocks, but because the wither has a 100% drop rate, it doesn't destroy any of your blocks. So you get all of your wood and all the other items that you wanna put into here. And as you can see, this wither blaster right here can handle multiple farms. So you can have up to two, maybe even three farms going into this one wither. I will leave links to these collection systems down in the description and up in the top right hand corner right there for you guys. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. A material list will be down in the description. 
To get things started, we're going to chunk align our farm and sub chunk align it, which means that we're on a sub chunk Y value, which I'll go ahead and post on the screen for you guys right now. Once you have your chunk laid out, then you need to decide which side is going to be the front, and the side that's going to be the front is the side with your entryway right here. If you're planning on building the auto chopper or the wood pusher, you can build this farm in any direction. However, if you're building a wither blaster, then I recommend making sure that your door is facing either south or west. And we can determine which side is south or west in a few different ways. One way is with a pumpkin. If you go ahead and lay a pumpkin down, you'll see that the stem is facing this direction. That direction is northwest, which means that this side back here is the south side and this is the west side. And as you can see, our door is facing west right there. And that means that our door could face this side or this side, the west or south sides. And if you don't have a pumpkin, then you can definitely use a sunflower. If you lay a sunflower down, you can see that the sunflower will be pointing east. So that means that your door can be facing west, which is the opposite side of the sunflower. And of course, this side is south, so it could be right over here as well. And my favorite way is using your coordinates. If you have coordinates on your screen, then you can definitely tell which side is north. As you can see right here, my Z coordinates right here are 1616 and if we go back over here there's 1631 in the direction in which z coordinates get less is north so as you can see they're less over here so this is the north side so just to be clear if you're building the auto chopper or the wood pusher you can start on any of the four sides it does not matter however if you're building the wither blaster you need to start on the south side or the west side now throughout the tutorial i'll be going rather quickly so if you need to stop and pause the video feel free to do so and catch up so to get things started, we're going to come to the front left side right here. We're going to count in seven blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. We're going to come up by two more. So now we're three above our chunk, uh, sub chunk border. Then right here, we're going to go ahead and place in two more blocks right there, two more blocks off to the side, and then we're going to place in it two blocks right there. Off to this side, we're going to place in one block right here and two more blocks right there as well. Then down here, we're going to come down a block. We're going to come out by a temporary block and down by one. Go ahead and count five blocks. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. Then we're going to copy that same uh, pattern over here. So we're going to come up by a block right there. We're going to go ahead and build our little square just like this. And then we're going to come up here by two blocks just like so. Come over here by one and up by two. Once you've got that built, go ahead and come under here and remove all of your temporary blocks out the side just like this. And then go ahead and grab your stairs and go ahead and throw your stairs in right here just like this. And we're going to come up by one more layer just like that. There we are. And then we're going to go ahead and take our barrels. We're going to go ahead and place our barrels facing upwards just like this. And we're going to go ahead and put uh, item frames on their faces just like that. Your entryway should now be looking like this, and then we're going to come over to each side. We're going to place in a barrel right there and another barrel in right there. On top of these barrels, we're going to place in it two redstone lamps just like that. On these sides, we're going to go ahead and take two levers and go ahead and place those in right there. And on these barrels, we're going to go ahead and place in some item frames just like this. Grab your saplings and make sure you put the oak saplings on the left side right here. You're going to put those right there. This is going to be where you put your oak saplings, and also this is going to be the oak mode lever right there. Over here, we're going to have the acacia mode and acacia sapling storage right there. So this is going to be your acacia mode lever. And then down here, you can put these in any order you like, but the spruce and the birch and the jungle saplings all need to go there. And you can rotate these around as you like if you want these to be facing in whatever direction. Now your entry area should be looked like this. And if that's the case, go ahead and put all of your saplings in all of your storage areas. And then right up on top up here, we're going to go ahead and take a couple stairs. So go ahead and come right here. We're going to go ahead and take a backward stair block right there, just like that. That's going to be upside down. We're going to go ahead and bring that all the way across right there. We're going to bring that around right here. Bring that around over here and go ahead and turn the corner and then bring that all the way across just like that. Above here, we're going to go ahead and take ourselves a light source block just like this. And then go ahead and put yourself a solid block there like that. Once you've got this complete, the first circuit that we're going to install is the acacia mode circuit. We're going to do that in green wool right here. So we need to come to the back side of this lever right here. So we're going to place in a block right there just like that. We're going to go ahead and come up by one here. We're going to come up by two there just like this. So you have this little zigzag. We're going to place a temporary block in there and one up just like this. We're going to place a temporary block in here and one down just like that. Over here, we're going to place in a sideways sticky piston facing outwards just like this. And then we're going to take a observer and place it on there just like that. Over here, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go ahead and place in ourselves 
a sticky piston right here, and then a block on its face, just like this. And then we're gonna take a temporary block here with another sticky piston, and we can break that one out. And then right here, we need to go ahead and place in ourselves an observer facing in this direction. And on the front of this observer, we're gonna place in a block right there, then one out more just like this, and then one down below like so, so you have this little step right here. And then off to this side, we're gonna take a piece of glass just like this, we're gonna come down below, place in two more bits of glass, and one out to the side right there in the middle, and then you can break this one out so you have this little triangular area right here. On the bottom of this, we're gonna go ahead and place in one more temporary block, we're gonna place one out to this side, and one on the bottom just like this, and we can break that one out. Including this block, we're gonna go six blocks in this direction. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, and six, just like that. Off to this side, we're gonna place in it two blocks just like that. And on the, this one, we're gonna go and place one more block right here. We're gonna come one block in this direction. We're gonna come up by a block, one more, and up by another block right there. And then on the bottom of this piston right here, we can go ahead and place in a temporary block with a slab on the bottom of it, just like this, and break that one out. And then right here, we're gonna go ahead and place in a repeater right there. We're gonna place in it two repeaters right there. We're gonna go ahead and place in a redstone dust all in these areas just like this. And we're gonna go up the glass just like so, right here, right here, and right here, and right here. There we are. And then we're gonna go ahead and take our redstone from this repeater, we're gonna come up here and onto this slab. Once your circuit is looking like this, then we can come to the front two repeaters. Now for this next section, I'm gonna go ahead and break this section up into small little clips, and I recommend pausing in between clips to catch up to that clip. So from right here in front of these repeaters, we're gonna go ahead and place in two temporary blocks right here. We're gonna place two temporary blocks right here. And then on the outsides of these repeaters, we're gonna place in a piston like that, and a piston like that. On top of this block, we're gonna place in a block right there. And on the front of this one, we're gonna place in a regular piston right there. And underneath these, we can go ahead and remove all of these temporary blocks. Underneath this piston right here, we're gonna go ahead and place in a block right there just like that with a redstone torch on its face just like so. We're gonna place a block on top of that one and then two more off to the side of this piston. And then on top of that piston, we're gonna place in ourselves a dropper and a hopper facing right into that dropper just like this. And then off to the side right here, we're gonna place in two comparators, one there and one there. And inside this dropper here, we can go ahead and throw two any old items. So I'm gonna throw two bone meal in there. And then on top of this hopper, we need to cross place ourselves a block on top of that one to keep any other items from going in. So in the front of this comparator right here, we're gonna go ahead and place ourselves a sticky piston facing downwards just like this. And then we're gonna have a observer facing sideways just like that. And then on the front of this piston right here, we're gonna have another sticky piston facing sideways just like this and an observer facing downwards, just like that with the red dot facing down. We're gonna have a block right there on its face and a temporary one down here. We're gonna put two more out to the side right here. And then on this one, we're gonna go ahead and place in ourselves a piston right there on the side of that one and we can break out that temporary block. Go ahead and place in yourselves two bits of redstone right there to connect to that piston. Once your circuit is looking like this, then go ahead and come back to the front here where the original two uh, repeaters are right here. And on top of this green block right here, we're gonna place in a sticky piston facing outwards just like this, and an observer on its face facing just like that. And then on this side, we're gonna throw another sticky piston in, in this direction right there. And this time, we're gonna put a temporary block right there so we can throw a downward facing observer right there on top of that piston just like that. And then this observer right here, we're gonna place one on the front of that piston right there. And I actually made a mistake. This repeater is supposed to go right here and that bit of redstone is supposed to reverse with that and go right there. Once you have that observer in place, go ahead and come to the other side over here and we're gonna go ahead and start on this block right here with the redstone torch underneath. We're gonna place in a sticky piston on the side of that block like that and it should extend the right caddy corner to this piston right there. We're gonna take an observer and replace it facing upwards on the front of that face right there, so just like that. So that way the red dot and the arrow should be facing up towards that piston just like so. Then in front of this observer right here, we're gonna go ahead and place a block down there just like so. We're gonna place one up there just like that. We're gonna place two more just like so, and one down here like this. Then we need to break this one out, that's a temporary block. And then we're gonna go ahead and bring uh, a couple blocks out here like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and place redstone dust on top of both of these. We're gonna take a slab and place it in right there. And then over here, we're gonna go ahead and take ourselves a four tick repeater right there, and a three tick repeater right here. Up here, we're gonna go ahead and throw some redstone dust in there and there. Then on this side, we're gonna go ahead and take ourselves a temporary block and come up with a piece of glass just like that. And we're gonna come back across here just like so, just like that, so we have this diagonal shape of glass right here. 
Then up here, we're going to go ahead and take ourselves a temporary block and a slab on the face of that one, and we can break that one out. And we can put redstone dust on top of all of those. And once you have that done, your acacia mode circuit is complete. Now, normally I would test this with you guys before moving forward. However, there is no way to test this circuit without having the farm built. So double check this, make sure that everything is correct. Make sure all your pistons are in place and make sure you have two items inside this dropper and make sure everything is where it's supposed to be. And also too, as a side note, these two bits of glass right here, these are supposed to be glass and this is supposed to be a slab. We use slabs in the build because the slabs stop redstone signal from going downwards. Glass does not do that. Redstone can go up or down on glass and it can go only up on slabs. And of course, over here, you're going to need some redstone dust right here and right there, just like that. And then in the beginning, I did tell you guys to put these in, but while I was double checking my acacia circuit, I actually found a better way to do this circuit right here. So we're actually going to use a, this as a temporary block. We're going to place in a purple wool right there, and we're going to break these three out just like that. Under this wool, we're going to go ahead and place in a temporary block right there and come down by one. We're going to come over by a total of three blocks right here, and we're going to come up by another block and out by one right there. Then on top of here, we're going to go ahead and put in three four trick repeaters just like this. And then once that's wired up just like that, then we can go ahead and take a regular piston on the front of this one just like this. And that's going to have a redstone block on its face coming down just like so. Then below this one right here, we're going to go ahead and take another temporary block down here like this. And that's going to have a regular piston facing back up just like so. Then over here, we're going to take break that temporary block. We're going to come down right here by a temporary block. We're going to come up here just like so. You can break that one out and we're going to come back up here just like that. And then up on this stair right here, we're going to go ahead and place ourselves a redstone lamp just like that and with a lever on its face just like this. Then we're going to take redstone dust underneath that one on this purple block that's going to go all the way down to that piston. That piston will shove that redstone block up anytime the farm is on. And anytime the farm is done, we're going to have some circuitry up here that will reset the farm pushing this redstone block back down. Once you have that in place, then go ahead and come down to this purple wool block right here, place in yourself a temporary block, and you're going to go ahead and place two right there, two right there, and one right there. Go ahead and break this one out and break that one out. Then place one on the side of this one right here. Place a temporary block up there and two more off to the side, and you can break that one out. Place another temporary block and one up like this, another temporary block and one up just like this, another temporary block and a slab to this side just like that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to place redstone dust there and redstone dust there. Then take yourself a stair and go ahead and face it in this direction away from the slab just like that. That'll make it to where the inside of your farm doesn't have a hole right here. And that way the redstone can still pass through. Then what we're going to do is we're going to wire this up with redstone dust. So go ahead and place redstone dust on top of all of these just like this. Once you have that in, right here next to this piston, right in this dip, the redstone right here, we're going to place in a sticky piston just like that with a block on top. Then right here in front of the uh, on switch right here, we're going to go and take a stair, go ahead and place that in there just like that. And then up here, we're going to take a temporary block right here, go ahead and place two temporary blocks in right there, and place in yourself a dropper just like that. Once your dropper is in place, go ahead and place a button on the front of it just like that, and then come up here and place a hopper on the top of it just like this on the side over here on the right side just like that, facing into it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come on down here, get down onto the green wool, and crouch place yourself an observer down here like that and another one on its face just like so. So you have two observers in total and place a purple block on the side of that piston right there. Anytime that you're stuck inside the farm from acacia mode, you can hit this button right here and it'll go ahead and reset the farm. That's the circuit that replaced that piston and observer over there. But don't worry, we're still going to be using this circuit right here, so don't get rid of that. And next we're going to go ahead and place in a temporary block right there. We're going to come on down here and place a sticky piston facing down just like this. Grab yourself an observer and place it on the front of that block just like so. And then place a, ma a magenta wool block on the front of that one. Then go ahead and bring, come down by one just like this. And you should see that's on top of this purple block. And then you're going to come down another one and you should see that that's next to this slab. On this side of the slab, we're going to continue this circuit out by three blocks just like this. And we're going to come down by a block right here just like so. Leave this temporary block in there and go ahead and put yourself in a piston right there just like that and then you can break that block out. Put redstone dust on top of all of these all the way back up to that observer and you need to get on this side of it so you can come over here and you're going to put redstone dust there and you're going to put redstone dust here. So now you should have redstone dust on top of all of this right here looking just like that all the way to this piston and then once you have that we're going to come down to the front of this piston right here and we're going to skip a block and as you can see that yellow wool is right in front of me. We're going to go right to that yellow wool and place in ourselves a sticky piston. 
We're going to come off that sticky piston with four slime blocks. One, two, three, and four. We're going to place a redstone block up just like this, a temporary block out like that, and an obsidian block right there. And I'm using crying obsidian just because it looks cool. And over here, we're going to go ahead and place in a temporary block, and we're going to place some glazed terracotta just like this. We're going to place three glazed terracotta over here just like so. And then over here, we're going to place in two temporary blocks, break this one out, place in yourself a piston facing in that direction so it'll push those back over. Right behind this piston that we just put in with the slime blocks and the redstone block right here on this yellow wool block, we're going to go ahead and break this redstone, break that wool block, and we're going to move this wool block down right here with the redstone right there. Once you have all this in place, go ahead and grab yourself a temporary block, place it on top of that glazed terracotta, and with a sticky piston facing up over here, go ahead and break that one out. Grab yourself an observer, place it on top of that sticky piston with the red dot facing in this direction towards that obsidian. And then on top of this block, you're going to go ahead and place in a temporary block with an observer facing in that direction. So this face is that way, and that face is this way, and anytime that gets powered, it's going to go ahead and start ticking just like this. So what we want to do now is we want to take one more observer, we're going to place that in there just like this. And then on the bottom right here, we're going to go and place another observer right there. And then on the bottom of that observer, we're going to place in a cyan wool block. On that cyan wool block, we're going to take a dropper, we're going to face that up just like this. And we're going to place two more up just like that all the way up to this observer. And then on the top right here, we're going to come right over to this one and crouch place ourselves a dispenser in there just like this. Then on the bottom of that dispenser down here, we're going to place in ourselves a dirt block. This is going to be where our tree is going to grow. And then below that dirt block, we're going to come right down here. We're going to crouch place an observer onto that drop right there and one more just like this. And you should see that that comes right underneath this uh, drop right here. And that's going to go ahead and get a decorative block of your choice right there to go ahead and neaten that up. And so now your area looks complete. Once you've got that completed, go ahead and come to this side. We're going to go ahead and come to the bottom dropper over here. We're going to crouch place ourselves a hopper in right there and two more onto this side just like this. And then on this side, we're going to come around that way right here. And then we're going to grab our cyan wool blocks. We're going to place in a temporary block there and one right there. Then we're going to place in a temporary block there, one up like this, and then one over to the side just like that. You can break this one out. And we're going to place one more up here. So you have this 90 degree bend where the corners are up like this. And then you're going to place in a comparator just like that and a repeater right here and then a redstone torch on the front of this one. Over here you're going to place in a temporary block and one right here. Go ahead and break that one out and you can place another one over here just like this. And then on the front of this one we're going to come down by a block like that. We're going to do that one more time and we're going to do it again just like this. And then we're going to come down to the final one right here and then we're going to go ahead and bring that out by one just like so. Go ahead and put yourself a repeater there on that one and put redstone dust all the way up to that redstone torch up here just like that. And then right here what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and place ourselves a sticky piston just like this. And we're going to have the redstone dot facing in this direction like that. And then on the front of that one we're going to have another observer just like this and they all should be ticking. And then we're going to have a dropper facing just like this. And yes, this dropper is going to be ticking. This is our dropper that will spit out bone meal to our farm. And that is because there is no bone meal in this hopper. If we go ahead and fill that up, you'll see that it'll stop ticking. So if we throw a stack in there, there it is. It'll stop just like that. So what we need to do now is we actually need to fill this up with bone meal. So go ahead and go to this dropper right here and go ahead and fill in that dropper just like this. And go ahead and fill in that last stack. And then over here in this hopper, go ahead and take a few stacks from here. Go ahead and fill this all up too. Go ahead and fill that all the way up just like that. And then in this hopper, that will stay and that's fine. As long as it doesn't tick, you'll be good. And to make sure this is working properly, go ahead and access those 13 items. Go ahead and take them out. And you should see that that starts ticking again. As you can see, our piston did extend. And then as long as that happens, you can go ahead and put those back and then it should stop. Once you know this is working, next we're going to go ahead and build a shulker box unloader right here. It's going to be the water stream shulker box unloader that I have on my channel. I have a tutorial for it, which I'll leave the link to that up in the top right hand corner and down in the description. And to do this one, we're going to go ahead and place in a hopper into the back of that drop right there. In the tutorial, this is a barrel, but I'm activating it with this circuit right here, so you can kind of manipulate that. And now we need to go ahead and continue with this. So what we're going to do here is we're going to place in a temporary block here just like this. We're going to place in a sticky piston right there just like that. And then on the back of this sticky piston here, we're going to place in a temporary block there and one down there just like this and one on top of it just like that. 
we're going to place a bit of redstone dust on that block right there. And then on this one here, we're going to place a comparator on top of that piston. And we're going to place a temporary block there and one behind that comparator right there just like that. Next, go ahead and come over here to this comparator right here, to the block in front of it, and go ahead and place a sticky piston in there just like this, with an observer on its face just like that. On the side of this piston here, you're going to go ahead and place in a block right there, and one up just like this. Break that one out down below, and then grab yourself a repeater and put that on four ticks right here. Then on the front of this block right here, go ahead and come on down here, place a downwards facing sticky piston just like this, with an observer facing in this direction just like that. Go ahead and place in yourself a uh, cyan wool block right there and then come to this side where you can see the face of the observer. Come on down below and then you're going to place yourself in a dispenser on the bottom of that block right there. Then over here on this side you're going to go ahead and place in three blocks just like this. One, two, and three just like that. You're going to take yourself a comparator, put it in the same direction as that one right there. Grab yourself a sticky piston, place it sideways in there right there. Grab yourself an observer and place it in sideways where the red dot is facing that block. Now your shocker box unloader is complete and it's time to set up the waterways. And the waterways are going to be coming right underneath this piston right here. So we're going to go ahead and place a piece of glass right there. You're going to place another one out like this. And now it's going to be a temporary one for two out on the sides just like that. Then we're going to go ahead and come out by two right here. Go ahead and place a temporary block there and one out to the side just like this. And go ahead and bring this all the way to the edge like this. Over here, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to bring that to the edge like that. And then right here inside your trunk border, you're going to go ahead and break that block and place in yourself a piece of soul sand just like so. Then on the bottom side right here, we need to go and place in packed ice just like this all the way around here just like that. And I misplaced that one right there. <laughs> and then we need to go ahead and get ourselves a button. We're going to place in a button right there just like that to stop the water from flowing out that way. You can go ahead and grab yourself a bucket of water. We're going to place that in there right by that piston right there. That's going to make sure that anytime the shulker box is broken, even if it lands back there, it'll still get taken out. So it's 100% dependable. And then from here, we're going to go ahead and place in some glass just like this. I'm going to place a temporary block there and a piece of glass out there like this. The cyan glass is uh, basically to represent the circuitry that we have for the bone mill circuit over here. And the glass is going to be what you need to extend all the way to your superior moss farm for endless bone meal. So from here, we're going to go ahead and take that piece of glass out right there. And this is actually going to be a piece of ice, a packed ice, just like this. Go ahead and bring that all the way out to your superior moss farm. And then you're going to go ahead and place in all of the glass that you need to go ahead and extend that all the way down. And you're going to bring this all the way up just like that. And then on top right here, you're going to grab some more ice. You're going to go ahead and place in some ice right there, just like so. And right here on that dispenser right here, you're going to grab yourself a hopper. So go ahead and grab yourself a hopper and place it in right there, just like this. And then down here on this piece of ice right here, you are going to need some buttons and some water to continue the flow of the water all the way to your superior moss farm. So go ahead and grab yourself some water, place it in there like this, and then one more just like that, and that'll flow out to your button. And then over here, we're going to go ahead and set this up as well. So go ahead and bring some ice out all the way to here, just like this. Place yourself in a button, and then go ahead and grab just your uh, glass, just like this. And go ahead and place this around here, just like so. You can put glass on the top of it, just like this. Go ahead and bring this all the way down to your superior moss farm, just like so. There we go. And then go ahead and grab your water, place that in there, just like this, and make sure it's flowing into that hopper. Go ahead and complete your glass up all the way to your superior moss farm. And then from right here, this actual piston right here, we're going to go ahead and take ourselves a redstone torch just like this and some redstone dust. Go ahead and place a redstone torch right there and go ahead and bring this down here just like this. And go ahead and grab yourself a uh, some redstone dust. Go ahead and place this down all the way to here. And you're going to bring this all the way to your superior moss farm. And you might need some repeaters there to get it all the way there. So if you need any repeaters, go ahead and throw those in. And then back over here in front of this dropper right here, we're going to go ahead and place on ourselves a piece of soul sand right there. And then we're going to go ahead and build ourselves up a tower just like this. This is going to come all the way up to that hopper height right there that we have right there. Go ahead and bring this all the way around. So we're going to place in a couple pieces of glass just like that. Go ahead and bring this up and bring another piece of glass over here just like so. And that glass should encase that little area there for your soccer box unloader. Then go ahead and bring these glass uh, pillars up here just like so to complete that tower up just like that. There we are. And then off of this hopper right here, we're going to go ahead and bring some glass to that one. So we're going to go right here 
and go ahead and bring the glass all the way to this hopper just like that. Then what we need to do is we need to actually encase this whole thing so we don't get any water going anywhere. So we're going to go ahead and place in uh, glass all the way around here just like this, making ourselves a little trough just like so. There we go. All right, that's going to come all the way up here to this hole right there just like that. Then we're going to go ahead and bring some glass up and around here just like that so you have a little L shape right here. That should go ahead and do pretty well. Then go ahead and grab your uh, water. Go ahead and come down to the bottom and place in your water going all the way up. Make sure you get every block just like this. And then make sure you go ahead and place in some water right there and it flows on top of that hopper. Once you have this in, then go ahead and come back here. We need to go right by this piston right here. A piece of glass needs to go in right there to make sure that nothing flies out that area. And once that's all done, go ahead and grab your glass and go ahead and cover the top of all of this water right there just like this. And then now it's time to go ahead and place in your hoppers. Over here off to this side, we're going to place in it two more hoppers, one and two just like this. Over here on this side, we're going to place two hoppers going into there just like that. And then over here on this side, we're going to go ahead and place in hoppers all the way back to this glass. We're going to go ahead and place in hoppers all the way back to here just like that. On this side too, we're going to go ahead and bring these all the way up here just like so. Over here, we're going to skip one block, so we're going to go ahead and bring these all the way up, but we're not going to do this corner because it's not needed. Then right here, we're going to place in another hopper going into that dropper. Over here, we're going to place in it two hoppers going into each other just like this, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to bring these all the way back here just like so. So go ahead and bring this line all the way back just like this, like so, all the way back to that line right there. And then over here, go ahead and place in yourself in a hopper right there just like that. And then over here, you need to place in the hoppers going into these hoppers just like so, like this. So we need to go just like this. And then right here, you need another hopper as well. So go ahead and place one facing down into here and another one sideways facing into it like this. Once you have all your hoppers done, they should be in this shape right here. You should see that you have a five by five hopper square right here. And then on this side, you have this little L shape that comes down around here like this. So once you have that done, go ahead and grab your repeaters. You need to come down to this hopper right here. We're gonna place your repeater on top of it, facing into that dirt block. So anytime a tree grows, it'll complete up this circuit. So what we want to do is we want to put ourselves a repeater in right there and that's going to go out into the circuitry. Get it? Because it's the circuit for the tree. But all bad jokes aside, next we're going to put in our blocks. Let's go ahead and bring these all the way down and around here. You're going to bring those to the front dropper right here. You're not going to place one in front of the dropper. You're going to leave that area open. Right here, we're going to place one down here just like this on that hopper. Then on this side, we're going to go ahead and wrap these around here too. They can come all the way around our hopper line just like that. You can break the corner one out. And then over here, we're going to go ahead and start with uh, a block right here. Then we need to place a temporary block there. We're going to place two sticky pistons in just like this. You can break that one out. Grab yourself an observer and that's going to go in right there. Next, we're going to place an observer right there just like that with the red dot facing into here. And we have ourselves a sticky piston right there that's going to grab our tree and pull it back. Then right here, we need to place in some regular pistons just like that. Then grab yourself a sticky piston, place it on the side of this observer right there just like this, and then come around the back side of that sticky piston and place a regular piston just like that adjacent to this observer. Then on this side, we're going to go ahead and place in some sticky pistons. So right here is a temporary block. That's going to be our first sticky piston just like this. And we're going to go ahead and place another one just like that. Then right here, what we need to do is we need to place one sticky piston right there, and then we're going to place an observer facing in this direction. Once you have this all complete, you should see that you have blocks all the way around your hoppers just like this, and then some pistons and observers over here, leaving yourself a 5x5 five five square of hoppers right here. Next, we're going to go ahead and do the second layer. This is the layer that you're going to have to duplicate. So we're going to place a uh, temporary block right there. We're going to place a sticky piston right there, and we can break this one out. We're going to place another sticky piston on the side of that one just like this. Grab yourself an observer with the red dot facing it in this direction. Grab yourself a regular piston and place it in there just like this. On the, f on the side of this regular piston here, we're going to place ourselves in a sticky piston. So you have a one block wide gap right there for your head when you're using the farm. And then over here, you're going to place in a bit of dirt on the front of that piston right there. So on this side, we're going to go ahead and place in another block. And then on this one, we're going to place a temporary block back here with a sticky piston on that one. Go ahead and break the temporary block out and bring your sticky pistons over by four. So one, two, three, and four, just like that. So you should see that you have four sticky pistons, just like so. You're going to grab an observer, face it in this direction. Grab another observer and face it in that direction. Then you're going to place a block right here. On these, you're going to take uh, two regular pistons. Those are going to go right there and right there. 
And then on this side, we need to do the same thing. So we're going to start from this edge over here. We're going to go ahead and place in ourselves a temporary block. We're going to grab ourselves a sticky piston, break out the temporary block, extend our sticky pistons out by four blocks just like this, take an observer in this direction, take another one in that direction, get two regular pistons, and place those in right there. On the edges of the uh, observers right here, we need to place in blocks just like that. And then on this one, we need to place one in there just like this. All observers need to have blocks on their faces to make sure that the leaves from the trees do not grow in front of the observers and I randomly tick these pistons because that can break your farm. Then what we need to do next is we need to go ahead and continue on right here. We're going to place a block in right there. Go ahead and place in it two sticky pistons, one observer, and essentially you're going to copy this whole design. So go ahead and just copy paste what you see down here. Place in all of the blocks just like I'm doing right here. Go ahead and build this all the way up, all the way around and you can go ahead and finish this off right here just like this. And that'll be your second layer, all complete. And now you need to take what we just did in this layer and you need to duplicate this nine times going straight up. So now your farm should be looking like this. You should see that it's 10 blocks tall with nine blocks going all the way up from here. So as you can see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine pistons from that second layer up. So you needed to duplicate that nine times over. And now your farm is looking like this. Next, we need to come out here. We're going to come to this side right here. We're going to go ahead and break out two of these blocks right there. And as you can see, these pistons here aren't covered. We need to go ahead and place in blocks all the way up the sides of those observers. And then right here, we're going to go ahead and place in ourselves an, a door. So go ahead and break out this block right there and right in line with the hopper so it's smooth with the hopper. Go ahead and place in yourself in an oak trap door there or any uh, any door that you really want and that'll give you access inside the farm just in case you need to so you don't have to break any blocks. Now that all of our pistons are in we need to go inside the farm down into here and we need to finish this up. So we're going to go ahead and place in a, a solid block right there with a light source block right there just like this and then we're going to go ahead and case this with glass. So go ahead and grab whatever glass you want and from this point we're going to go ahead and place in a three blocks of glass there and three blocks of glass there and we're going to go ahead and come down here we're going to bring the glass all the way out to this lever right there and same thing on this stair we're going to go and do the same thing go ahead and bring the glass all the way to that point right there down here we're going to put a temporary block in there bring that out here go ahead and bring this all the way across here i accidentally flicked that lever <laughs> and then go ahead and continue with your glass right here going from there and there and now your uh, area is all enclosed once your AFK chamber is all complete, go ahead and come to this block right here. If you open this door, you should see that your repeater is leading into that block. So on the back side of this block on this side, we're going to go ahead and place in ourselves an orange wool block. And then down here, we're going to place in another block just like this, and you can break that temporary block out. And we're going to come out here by one, and we're going to bring this all the way to this slab. You should see that it lines up perfectly with your slab right there. On this side of the slab, we're going to place in it three more blocks just like this. We're going to come up by one, over by one, and break this one out. And then over here, we're gonna place in ourselves a glass block just like this. And then we're gonna place in ourselves a temporary block, one up like this and one over like that. You can break this one out. And then on this side, we need to go ahead and build ourselves a two by two, just like this. And then we can go ahead and fill this up with redstone. So what we need to do now is we need to take redstone dust from the beginning, bring this all the way across here, just like this. We're gonna bring it up and over just like that. And then we have a repeater right here. We also have a repeater right there. And then we also need to bring this redstone dust all the way up and around to this block. Also, be sure to place some orange wool on top of this piston right here next to that magenta glazed terracotta and put some redstone dust on top of that one as well. Once your orange circuit is in, now it's time to wire up the tree farm. So what we need to do now is we need to grab our red wool. We're going to go ahead and come across the back of these pistons just like this. And you should see that it's one block down because these pistons are one block up. And as you can see over here, we have pistons that are down by one. So we're going to start our circuitry right here. And we're going to go all the way around here just like this. This is going to have another orange wool block right there. This is going to have a repeater right there just like this. Then we need to continue this red wool all the way around here. From this point, we're going to go ahead and connect up the circuits with orange wool. So we're going to bring this all the way to back here. Then right here, we need to go ahead and place in two blocks right there. And we need to continue this orange wool all the way back to this point. From here, we're going to go ahead and place in ourselves a repeater right there. Two bits of redstone here. We're going to go ahead and put in redstone all the way across here, just like this, leading all the way back to that. Then on this side, we're going to come all the way back to here. We're going to need two more bits of uh, red wool right there. We're going to need some red wool on these here right there and then two more bits of red wool right there. 
In here, you're going to be placing redstone dust just like this, and even in this little space, and on the second layer up, you are going to need to make sure that you fill these gaps in. Those down there are decorative blocks, so we're not replacing those with red wool, but they do get redstone on top of them. So the second layer would look like this, and then so on and so forth. So all of these will need redstone on top of them, and then you need to go ahead and skip a block, put in more wool, skip a block, put in more wool, and make sure that all these wool blocks are covered in redstone. Once you have that done, your farm should be looking like this with all of your blocks with redstone on the back of the pistons, just like so. And once you have that done, go ahead and come back to this side. This is the side where your door is. And we're going to start right here. We're going to be building up the vertical part of the redstone. And to do that, we're going to need ourselves some blocks. So go ahead and place in two solid blocks right here and right there. Put redstone dust on top of both of those. And then we're going to go ahead and go on top of this one and go glass, redstone, glass, redstone, and then one more piece of glass and then some more redstone. On this side, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go glass, redstone, glass, redstone, and glass, and some more redstone. That'll go ahead and build you up a little zigzag pattern just like this. So we have glass there, 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 there. And then of course the bottom doesn't need to be glass. That can be solid blocks. We need to do that all the way around. So we're going to come to this side. We're going to go and place a block there and a block there. We're going to do the same thing with the glass going up that way. And then the same thing over here, block there, block up here, continue the glass on the way up. Same thing over here, go ahead and put a block there and then a block up here, glass all the way up. And then right here, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put a block right there and a block right there and glass all the way up. Once you've got that completed, your redstone should be looking like this. And as you can see here, we've got our glass here just like that with our redstone zigzagging all the way up. And that's going to be all the way around the farm. So we've got glass on all sides right here with all the redstone connecting all the way up. So you definitely need to make sure that you have that all in place. And next what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get started with the orange circuit again. We need to connect up the circuit from here to here and then also from here to here. So these three areas are not, uh, these two areas are not connected and they need to be connected from this area. So we're going to go ahead and bring some wool blocks in here just like this. Right here when we're catty corner to here, we're going to come up a block like this. We're going to come out a block like that. And then right here, we're going to stick in a glazed terracotta block just like this. Over here, we're going to go ahead and place in three repeaters on four ticks just like this. Go ahead and place these all in. And then go ahead and place in yourself a bit of redstone right here with another repeater right here. And this is going to be on two ticks. Coming over to this side of this redstone, we're going to go ahead and place ourselves a sticky piston facing upwards just like this on the side of that red block right there. Place yourself an observer on top of that sticky piston with the red dot facing in this direction. Place a block on its face. Go ahead and come down below and place in a block right there. Right here, we're going to come up a block and over a block just like this. And then right here, we're going to place in another block. And then, of course, we're going to get some repeaters. Place in a repeater there and one there. Once you have your redstone done, it should look a lot like this. And once you have that complete, go ahead and grab your glass and we're going to go ahead and spawn proof the whole top of this. So go ahead and, and place glass in on top of all of these blocks just like this. Make sure that you cover all of your pistons, every block that's up here. Go ahead and do just like I'm doing right here. And place blocks on top of these blocks as well, all of your redstone stuff. And on top of here as well. And go ahead and come over here, placing glass on all of these bits just like this. And we're going to bring that all the way across here just like so. We're going to bring that all the way there on top of that piston as well. And then in here, right here, we need some glazed terracotta. Go ahead and place in one glazed terracotta right there and a temporary block in the middle. And then we're going to go ahead and surround that block just like this. And this is going to be where our oak mode slime block goes. So as you can see over there, we have an oak mode circuit that needs to go down. That's going to go in right here. So around those glazed terracotta blocks, go ahead and fill in the glass. Leave this area open right here in front of this piston and go ahead and fill in the 5x5 five five area in the middle of the farm just like this. Go ahead and get that all in there just like so and finish it off right here with the rest of the glass. Once you have that completed, all of your glass should look like this. And once you have that done, go ahead and come back to this area right here. We're going to come down to this red wool block right there. Go ahead and place one more bit of glass down there. Come on down here and place glass all the way up into here. This is as tall as your trees will get and this is where your trees will be and that's another spawning spot. So we want to put glass on top of there as well. Then what we need to do next, we need to come all the way down here inside of your control area and here is your oak mode lever. We're going to be doing this next. So on the back side of that block, we need to place in ourselves a redstone torch just like that on the back side of that lever. Then above that torch, we're going to place in ourselves a blue circuit block just like this. And then we're going to place a sticky piston on the top of this one. 
Then what we need to do is we need to bring up with slime all the way up to the top up here. We're going to go to slime above the top right here just like this. And we're going to take an observer and place it in there just like that. Then what we need to do here is we need to actually grab ourselves some blue glazed terracotta, place that in there just like this. And we're going to go ahead and take a wool block and just like that. From this point, we're going to come up on top of this glass and place a wool block right there. And then up here, we're going to go up four diagonally in this direction. So we're going to go, uh, there's one, two, three, and then four just like this. And then we have ourselves a regular piston right here. And we have ourselves some obsidian right there. Once that side is done, we're going to go ahead and go up in this direction now. So next, we're going to go up in uh, six more times. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, and six, just like this. And we're going to come over by one block in this direction. And then we're going to come up a block right there. And we're going to put another piston right there. And you should see that these pistons are pretty much looking at each other just like that. That means that all your measurements are correct. And now it's time to go ahead and place in redstone dust on top of all of these wool blocks all the way down here. You can place redstone dust on top of that glazed terracotta and all the way up to your piston on that side. Once you have that complete, go ahead and come over here to your glazed terracotta hole right here in the top. We're going to go ahead and start with a slime block right there. We're going to go up by five slime blocks. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. And you should see that it goes one block above your obsidian right there. Then right here, place in a temporary block and grab yourself an observer. We're going to place an observer facing this direction. Make sure that the red dot is facing towards that slime block just like this. And you can break out your temporary block. On top right here, we're going to place in a sticky piston with a glazed terracotta block right there. And we're going to place another glazed terracotta block right there. Over here, we're going to come out by two slime blocks under that terracotta block and up by one just like this. On top of this one, we're going to go ahead and place a slime block right there. Two more off to the side that should touch that piston. And then one right here in the middle facing down. And then of course, we're going to place in another sticky piston facing down just like this. Over here, placing yourself a temporary block and come up here and placing yourself an observer facing in just like this. So the red dot is facing that slime block just like this and remove your temporary block. Then right here, what we can do is we can go ahead and place in some obsidian just like this. That'll go ahead and stop the flying machine from flying up. And then what we need to do is we need to take our glass and we need to go ahead and cover all of this with glass and making that non-spawnable. Go ahead and put glass on all three of those. And I believe on top of this one right here, and that should do it. Once you've got this completed, it should look just like this. When you got that done, next we're going to go ahead and test it. So notice how it's at the top right here where it's touching that obsidian. We're going to go ahead and turn the oak mode on and it's going to come down here to this obsidian. So what we need to do here is we're going to go ahead and turn this lever on. Go ahead and click that on. And then you can see that your flying machine has already flown down just like this. Now your oak mode is on, so that's very good. And next we're going to go ahead and turn it back off and it should fly back up. So if we turn it off just like this, you should see that it takes itself right back up to the top and that is oak mode in the off position. And the final bit of redstone to complete up your farm is this redstone torch right here. We need to place that on the side of that block, which is right above this purple block. Right underneath that redstone torch, we're going to place ourselves in a sticky piston just like this. It should extend and then we're going to put an observer on its face just like that with the red dot facing into that purple block just like this. Once you have that completed, then go ahead and test out your farm. Go ahead and grab yourself a sapling right here, and then go ahead and come up to the, your farm and turn the on switch on, and now you're ready to go. If you plant a tree there, you should see that it gets pulled out of the farm just like this, and the wood goes right out there just like that. And then if you want to exit the farm, you're going to go ahead and flick that lever on and plant one more tree just like this, and it'll go ahead and take you on out. So as you can see here, once the tree gets sucked all the way out, the floor will drop down. There we are and then we can head on out of the farm. If for some reason that doesn't happen, that's what this button is for. So if you hit this right here, as you can see, you get stuck right there. And if you turn the switch off, it doesn't go back down unless you hit that button there too. And as you can hear, we have the dispenser still ticking. It's still going off there. And the reason why that is, is because we have no bone meal in the system. So our bone meal dropper is ticking like crazy. So what we need to do now is we need to go ahead and hook this up to the superior moss farm. So I've simulated that with a dropper filled with uh, shulker boxes filled with bone meal. So as soon as you set that up, you'll notice that it'll drop out a shulker box of bone meal, go into your system, and then one more shulker box will come in. The original shulker box will get uh, spat out here, and then the one that's staged will be right into here. And once your farm is filled up with bone meal, it'll go ahead and turn off, and as you can see, this thing keeps going on and on and on until that hopper right here fills up with bone meal. 
As you can see now, this hopper now has a little bit of bone mill in it. All it needs is just one in order to turn this machine off. And as you can see, now it is off. So next time when we plant a tree, more bone meal will go into the system and this will provide your farm with more bone meal. Now your farm is complete and fully ready to use. So go ahead and come on in here and grab all of your saplings. Go ahead and grab oak, spruce, birch, jungle, and acacia. Make sure you have all five saplings. Let's go ahead and test all five modes. So first mode we're gonna test is gonna be oak mode. Let's go ahead and turn that on. And we'll go ahead and turn the farm on right here and then we'll get our, grab our oak sapling and place that in there just like so and as you can see it's going to grow us a small oak tree and pull that one out which is quite handy so let's go ahead and turn acacia mode on we know it does oak trees we're going to plant one more oak tree here to get ourselves out of the farm there we go just like that and once the stair drops then we can come on out we can turn oak mode off let's go ahead and turn acacia mode on we'll do that one next let's go ahead and flick the lever back on and go ahead and get our acacia saplings. Now we're gonna go ahead and place an acacia sapling there. And as you can see here, it's gonna go ahead and pulse three times because we have all this extra wood. So there's once, all right, and there's twice. All right, it should pulse one more time. There it is, so all the wood should now be out. And we can go ahead and plant in another sapling. So before we do that though, we're gonna go ahead and turn that lever off. And we're gonna go ahead and plant one more sapling right here so that way that tree can grow. There we go. All right, so once that gets pushed out of the farm, then we can get on out. And now we can go ahead and turn acacia mode off once this is done pulsing. Go ahead and wait for that to finish. There it is, okay. Now we can go ahead and turn that mode off. Now we can plant all three of these trees without any modes being on. So let's go ahead and get ourselves up here. Let's go ahead and plant some more trees. We're gonna plant a spruce tree. And as you can see, that'll go ahead and plant there just like so. There it is. Here's a birch tree. You can plant that in there just like so. That'll get pulled out of the farm as well. And then of course, your jungle trees can get pulled out of the farm as well, just like this. And that is all five tree types that this farm can do. And so once we're done with that, let's go ahead and get ourselves out of the farm. We're gonna flick that lever, plant one more tree. It's gonna get pushed out and then our farm is gonna let us out of the farm. So once the stair drops, there we go. And now we can come on out and everything should be off. And the only thing that should be on is the bone meal dispenser until that hopper is filled up with bone meal. And as you can see, now the entire farm is off and it looks like we're getting a few more bits of bone meal in there, but that'll stop as soon as that hopper is filled. So once that's done, you guys are pretty much ready to go. You will need a collection system for this, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete all this wood. And to collect all that wood, you're gonna need one of these three collection systems, either the auto chopper, the wither blast chamber, or the wood pusher. All three of them will work and I'll leave a link to that in the top right hand corner there for you guys and also down in the description and if it's not there it's because it hasn't been made yet i'm actually making this tutorial first and then i'll make that so that'll be coming out soon if the links aren't there but with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial and if you did be sure to smack the like button and subscribe and i'll be seeing you guys in the next tutorial take it easy everybody